The Battle of Jezin was fought on June 8, 1982 between the Israeli army and the Syrian army in the Lebanese town of Jezin. It was the first battle between Israel and Syria in the 1982 Lebanon War. It resulted in Israel capturing the town. Chapter 1, Prelude Jezin was considered strategically important due to its location near a junction in which one road passed through the town and led to the southern Bikar Valley and the other led north to Jebel Baruk, passing west of Lake Karaun. Menachem Ainan's division was driving down a road that ended in a fork west of Jezin and had to pass through the town. Control of both the town and the junction would have given the IDF access to the southern Bikar Valley from the west. The Syrian 424th Infantry Battalion was stationed in the town. On June 7, Syria detected an Israeli division advancing north and sent several commando companies and a tank battalion to ambush the Israelis on their way to Jezin. On the night of Tuesday, June 8, Israeli Defense Minister, Ariel Sharon, said at a meeting in the Northern Command headquarters we know today that there will be a direct confrontation with the Syrians and argued that it would be best to move deeper into Lebanon. He said to the other officers that we have to build a context because we know that tomorrow we will take on the Syrians. Israel was not yet aware that a reduced Syrian battalion of tanks and a commando unit had joined the defending forces in Jezin. Ainan was ordered to reach the main highway as quickly as possible. He avoided the crossroads as he closed in on the town at 1 a.m. on Tuesday, June 8. He left the blocking force behind as he pushed north. The blocking force spilled over the slope above the town and opened fire on the Syrians. It did not assault the town, but a battle ensued, and the IDF lost two tanks. Meanwhile, an Israeli drone had discovered a Syrian force moving south through the Shuf Mountains toward Jezin. Israeli Air Force planes accurately attacked the Syrian force. The Syrian surface-to-air missile S were not activated against them. Chapter 2 Battle The 460th Armor Brigade, under Colonel Haggai Cohen's command, had crossed the Litany River on the Hardell Bridge on Monday, June 8. It was supposed to follow the column headed for the Beirut-Damascus Highway. After the Syrian force moving south was detected, it was ordered to change course and move east through Jezin. At that point, Haggai Cohen was convinced that a fight with the Syrians was imminent. Shortly after 1.30 p.m., Major General Avigda Ben Gal, commander of the Eastern Sector, ordered Cohen to prepare for an attack on the town. Cohen had no artillery or infantry. He tried to get Ainan's artillery officer to send him an artillery unit, but by 2 p.m. Ben Gal ordered him to attack immediately. One tank company of 198th Battalion waited on the outskirts of the town while another moved up the main street. When it reached the center of town, it was assaulted by RPGs and grenades from several buildings. The company made it across town and destroyed three T 62 tanks stationed to block the exit. The former company was attacked by Syrian commandos using Saga missiles, who knocked out three tanks. The company retreated. The Israeli battalion was now split between the two sides of town while the Syrians were firmly positioned in it. At this point, Colonel Cohen sent his 2nd Battalion, the 196th, to the front. One of its companies entered the town, but then it took a wrong turn at a fork in the road and reached a dead end. It was now positioned in a high commanding area, but exposed to Syrian armor fire behind the opposite ridge, southeast of the town. In a few minutes, two of its tanks were lost, but the company continued to provide cover fire from the ridge for the rest of the force. The other companies continued fighting the Syrians, until the company which entered the town had reached the nearby village of Huna. On the way there, the tank commanded by Captain Zomar, the company commander, destroyed six Shoan T-62 tanks, which were well positioned and ambushed around each corner of the winding road. Mars tank was then knocked out by a Syrian tank and he was killed. The Syrian tank was subsequently destroyed by the Israelis. Jezin had fallen by nightfall. During the night, the armor crews, not being trained in infantry warfare, 
were fighting until dawn against dozens of Syrian commando troops trying to attack the tanks. The commando teams were destroyed without further casualties to the Israelis that night. Chapter 3 Aftermath Syrian President, Hafez al-Assad, was convinced that the Israelis were lying when they said they were only interested in striking at the Palestine Liberation Organization, and were in fact interested in fighting Syria. He decided to speed up the deployment of the 3rd Armored Division in the Bikar Valley, and sent additional commando battalions to Lebanon. On Tuesday afternoon, Syria sent five additional SAM batteries into Lebanon, bringing the system to a total of 19. Israel saw the fact that those SAMs were brought to Lebanon from the Golan Heights as a sign that Syria was not interested in expanding the war. The Israeli Air Force considered this to be an encouraging sign, and decided to launch Operation Mole Cricket 19.